Hi guys, this is AJ Stylex and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're learning how to make our hoodie and from the picture you could see how the hoodie looks on a dress. So it could be a top, a gown or a jacket. But the hoodie, the purpose of the hoodie on clothes is for beauty and also the main aim is to keep the head warm. Especially in cold period or winter period depending on the, the environment where we are in. So we'll be learning how to make our hoodie. From the picture you see what the hoodie looks like. So we'll be taking your, your head measurements and then constructing the Udi from scratch. If you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're old, welcome back. Please share with your show, your soulmates and friends. Well, let's get over to the work table. There's a bone here. So you start your tape from your forehead straight down to this bone. Whatever measurement you get is between 13 to 16. That is the length of your hoodie. So for your hoodie, you need the wideness and you need the length. So just take your wideness, you take your length, same length, same wideness. So it's from here you construct whatever shape you want for your Udi also so that's it so that's how to get the measurement of your Udi. so let's start i said for standard we have between 9 to 11 then for the wideness so i'll be using 11 for my wideness so i'll just mark 11 then i'll be using length of 14 for my length so on this place, I'll still mark another 11. So just connect the points. So this is it. So this is 14. This is 11. So on this line here, you mark 3.5. You can use three inches. You can use three point five. Then you mark three inches here, or from this angle, mark two inches. Anyone, either you take three point five here, three inches, or you mark two inches from the angle. So whatever one you choose to do, you just use your French comb, connect these two points together. So this is it. Then you come here, you mark three inches upward. 
this three inches upward is because the neck roundness for your hoodie for your hoodie so this is the neck now so the roundness for the front is three inches by by three then for the back is three by one and a half as you draw so that's why we're coming up by three because the depth for the neck is three inches for the front so the this part is the front of your hood this is the back of your hood that will be on your head and the back will not get to three inches so that's why we're subtracting the three inches from here so you just roll this line to this point here then just take the midpoint of the line or you can choose any part this line now is 11 and a half so let me just say 11 the midpoint is five and a half so i'll just mark five and a half this is the midpoint and i'll go by half inch and connect it then you connect it back so and just do it like this and then so this is so this is your it's very easy now another thing is you can also if you want another the shape you, you can this is a different type of udu and there's one that here will be pointy if you want that just measure from this point here measure five inches so from this five inches you measure one inch here you connect it to the one inch so from this one inch you move the line and then you do your curve so this is your udu this is how to make udu so by the time you cut it, just place it. You're cutting two of these. Then if you want to, for your folding allowance, depends on how many inch. You want to fold your hoodie with one and a half, two inches, just mark it like this. That is the front of the hoodie. You know, you said this is the front, this is the head, this is the round part that will be on the head. So just join the line. So when you're cutting, you're cutting from here like this down. This part now, this is the part you fold, then you can put rope if you choose to. There's some hoodie with rope, there's some hoodie with tattoo. How do you make your rope? Your fabric just cut. You can buy a shoelace for it. If you want to buy shoelace, then you can just cut your fabric as tiny as, um, let's say, one inch, then fold it inward twice by half inch. Fold it inward twice by quarter inch, you'll be left with half inch. Sew it and use pin, put it round. So you are putting it on you measure the roundness of this place that is this times two is the roundness already then it was extra for that will come out for the rope so that is it that's how to make your woody so when you cut it you join by the time you cut two of this you join these parts together you join here the join will start from here because here now will be open down here like this. so you join these two parts of the two OD. if you want to cover even if you want to have them facing so that the joining will not show you cut another one like this again with a different fabric you join it like this too then turn the two sides the two wrong sides together so that you'll be seeing the correct side inside and the correct side outward so that goes your OD. then you pin here from here you pin it on the back neck pin it straight to the front neck but before you pin on your neck you must have joined the back and front shoulders together so that is just about making hoodie well, let me just cut it out so you can add it to your jacket you can add it to your normal top to your you can add it to even your regular top so I will not be making any top for the hoodie because it can be added to anything at all. You can also add it to your gown. There are gowns with hoodie. So it is wood. It's looking big, but by the time you sew here, yeah, sew some inch out. By the time you sew in inward by half inch. Because you are cutting two of this now. So you just made your half inch round like this to this point here you sew it inward with half inch it will reduce then you join the neck also with half inch by the time you fold here what you'll be having will be something like this so it will not look this big this is half inch round sew it by half inch round to this point then half inch from here will join to the neck of your dress while this part will be going in by the time you pull up when you drag it 
to feel smaller, to look smaller rather. So these are to make your hoodie. So you can attach it to your raglar top, you can attach it to your jacket, neck, instead of band, you can put it on your bomber jacket, the neck of your bomber jacket, you can attach it to your gown, but the best is the roundness of the neck should be for front, three by three, then for back, three by one and a half, so that's it. This is two parts together, I already joined it, I told you when you were joining, you joined from this point, starting point here, to here so that's what i've done here so i've joined it like this so this is the part that will rest on the neck of my dress i'm actually adding this hoodie to a gown then this is the lining i've also done the same thing i just added fabric to it though the thing the, the fabric now looks more like design but the purpose of adding the fabric is because this black i want to i want to use black i can i can decide to use this but i just wanted especially by the if the falls at the back you'll be seeing a black fabric so more like a design but the black is not enough so i had to add the material to it and it came out fine it came out like a design on its own so this is it you see it came out fine came out as it is like a design on its own so this is this one will serve as lining for this one so let me just pin the hoodie on the dress that you see how it is so if you see this dress now there is opening at the front that is the reason why we use three inches for the neck depth if for your dress if there is no opening please please make the neck a little bit wider but even when you make it wider do not alter the length of the hoodie because it will still go through because your hoodie most times the material um anyway it doesn't really stretch you can use stick material for your hoodie but Okay, the, so just be on the safer side. Whatever neck, before you cut your hoodie, cut your dress. For a dress now that does not have opening at the front. For a dress that have opening at the front, use 3 inches depth. 3 by 3. And then 3 by 1 and half or 1. Then for the dress that does not have opening at the front, that is zip. After making your, your, your top, put your tape around the neck of your top. And then measure it so it's that measurement you use to get your hoodie curve just measure it and then use the same measurement here so just the measurement you use for the wideness and then do all the curve and the rest so this is it so i'll just pin it to answer you see how it is so you just take the center back this back of the hoodie will be at the center so take the center back of your dress then you pin the first at the center back then you pin it around the neck so that's just about it. Then if after painting there is excess, you can use the excess to create a design. You see some hoodie that the cap is crossing from left to right and right to left. There are styles like that. Then there are styles that the opening is just there. So anyhow, you can just check pictures of different type of hoodie styles so that you can just know what to create. There are different styles. I will not tell you this is the main style for hoodie, but this is the pattern. For cutting your hoodie and this is the pattern for sewing hoodie no matter the style this is the pattern to cut it and sew so just pin it around the neck like this now it's around the neck you see this is the shoulder of the dress this is the shoulder this is the hoodie see it so this is how it is this is the shoulder of the dress this is the opening at the front i'll just put zip it's just a small zip on to put and that's it so then in the situation where you want to turn the lining just pin the lining and the main hood together so this is the main hood this is the lining this part now that is resting on your head and this other part pin them together the center center where you joint the center of the line and the center of the wood where you join just pin them together like this and pin around pin around to this end straight end and just sharp pick the pin it Then you pin this other end. So that 
that's it and don't forget we left one and a half inch as a folding allowance for the main pattern but i didn't leave it for the lining so this is it this is the hoodie so if you sew it now when you turn it you see the, the neatness like the sewing and the joining will show so this is the back of the hoodie this is the part that when your hoodie falls this is the parts people see then when you wear it it will be on your head and then this is the part people will see so this is it so more like reversible hoodie you can wear it like this but it's not possible anyway unless you are sewing a reversible shirt a reversible shirt or jacket that you can use both sides in that situation the way i uh, you lining your bomber jacket you're lining it with another fabric and then you put hoodie so you can wear the hoodie with one side like this or turn the back of the shirt and wear the hoodie like this with another side so that is just basically about hoodie this one by the time i sew it i'll push it push the lining inside because this is my there's allowance at the front of, of the main fabric and there's no allowance on this one for the rope so i just put it push it inside and sew it on one inch i left one and half inch allowance but half already went in to join the lining so i just sew it like this just sew it like this so there'll be space to put i'm sure you enjoyed this tutorial you could see now that we added i added the hoodie to a gown and you could see the finished look so if you want to learn how to make your gown the pattern you could check the link in the description box so this is how to make your hoodie don't forget to share this video